What is up loud and proud crowd? Hopefully you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. So hopefully you guys are doing good. We are back here with the Duramax. We have some stuff to do on the LMM Duramax. The giveaway Duramax, which by the way, you guys only have six days left to enter. By the time you see this video, it ends March 26th at 11.59 p.m. that night. So do not miss out, do not procrastinate. Information in the description below. Every $15 you spend gets you another automatic entry to win. But let's get into the video here in terms of what we're getting done on the truck today. We're planning on doing some tow mirrors, some 2015 style tow mirrors from Boost Auto Parts. So uh, huge shout out to Boost Auto Parts for hooking us up with some tow mirrors on this truck. Um, it's gonna look really, really good. A lot of people have made comments about wanting to go with the 2015 mirrors on this truck. And I was kind of thinking about it a little bit and I'm like, ah, oh, the mirrors on this are, aren't bad, you know, but I'm like, you know what? I wouldn't mind the truck. It, it just kind of brings more of that refined, good, look to the truck. So mirrors do make a big deal, like when you're looking at a second gen Dodge with the old, old metal mirrors on it or the old little sport mirrors on them um, compared to the tow mirrors, even whether they're flipped out or folded in, as an example, it just brings a different aggressive look to the truck. And this truck already has tow mirrors on it, but just updating it to those newer style mirrors will just bring this truck a whole different look and it'll actually make the thing look really nice. So we're gonna get into the shop here, open up the box and show you what we got. The mirrors all opened up and I gotta say, they look really, really good. Um, we did end up going with the chrome covered mirrors with the switchback, so it's gonna look really, really good. And uh, the reason I went with chrome, and I'm gonna explain this, it's really preference. They have paintable mirrors. They have just all black. They have um, the chrome, obviously. Like they have a bunch of different options. So definitely go check out their website. There will be a link in the description below this video. Lots of cool stuff. They've also got the 2015 key fobs for uh, I think pretty much all of the previous generations of the Duramax trucks. Um, but anyways, this is going to look really good on this truck due to a the grill and the bumper and the running boards. And yes, I'm going to leave the running boards. Yes, I'm going to leave the bumper chrome. Yes, I'm gonna leave the grill chrome. Reason for that is I just don't have the time to color match everything, nor do I really want to do that because it seems like every truck you see now, one of the big things that everybody does is color match, which I get it, it's cool, it's a really good look, and I'm probably gonna do that to a bunch of trucks um, over time. Uh, but just for this truck, it just didn't seem like the right thing to go with in terms of the build and look that we were going for. But we're going to get into this. Hopefully we can dismantle everything okay and get these changed out. But look at this. I mean, this stuff is really high quality. Looks really, really good. It comes with all of the uh, uh, wiring, so it's all plug and play. Everything you need to get everything wired up. Comes actually divided out. Um, the kits of wiring and bolts and hardware and stuff are separated with each mirror in the same box kind of like in its own little cubby, so you you know what wiring is for which mirror. You're gonna see that obviously we have the factory towing mirrors for the 2008 truck, and look at this truck right here first, the way that it sits. So you got the chrome on the grill, chrome on the bumper, and you got that uh, the mirror there. And then you got the chrome running boards. I think it's gonna look really good. Don't comment below and knock it until you see it. It's gonna look awesome. mirror is on the truck right here and it looks really good it sits very flush you can definitely tell the difference between a high quality mirror and a not so high quality mirror this thing sits perfectly flush all the way around with the seams um, just flawlessly no weird gaps no weird fitment I mean just very 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 nice you can see the turning signal blinkers in the mirror and the lighting and there's LED lighting right here and that'll all hook up too so what they actually do and I think I kind of said this already but they come with Everything wired up so you don't have to, you know, splice wires together and all kinds of weird stuff. So you get the wiring here, which will plug into this harness, which is what it'll connect into, and then you'll just run that through, probably through here into the into the uh, um, under the hood of the truck. And then this one will plug into there like that, and then this is just kind of a fuse in between the wiring, and then you're going to run that orange wire up into under the hood as well and hook that up to. I'll, I'll go through the stuff really quick and show you. Um, what I do in the end, but as you can see, this is how complex it is. There's three steps. I mean, it's, it's very simple. That is the instruction manual right there. 
Very, very simple. It tells you how to do it in the most simple form possible, and then it'll all be good. We are actually gonna get these wired up. I'm gonna do the other side now, not on video, just to kind of get it done, because we're kind of losing daylight, and I got a lot of other stuff I still got to do tonight. So we're gonna get this the uh, mirrors put on, wired up, and then uh, hopefully we're gonna get this pulled out of the barn here in the low light and see how it looks. It should look really good. Make sure you do not forget to enter the giveaway for this truck. There's seven days left and I'm just gonna say this, it's a freaking nice truck. Like, you guys, it is such a nice truck. And we're not done with it yet. We're still gonna be finishing stuff. This last week is gonna be the really, like, the icing on the cake for this thing. And it's gonna just turn out really, really, really freaking nice. So I'm super, super stoked. So I'm actually gonna readjust my mirrors because I haven't done that yet. But uh, these things, something I didn't know about this. These mirrors, okay, you can get the cheap ones on Amazon and stuff that are the 2015 mirrors, but they don't have all these capabilities. Listen, these things, are loaded with features. They're switchbacks. They have the little LED lights in the mirrors for the turning signal, you know, so you can see it. It's got LED, look at this thing, this is just nuts. It's got LED reverse lights in the mirrors. Right here. These are the reverse lights. And guys, they are freaking so bright. It is just stupid. Like, it is just ridiculous how bright those things are. So we're gonna go over here to our function and move our mirror. And I think that's about where I want it. And then we're gonna go to our other mirror. Move it. Is these reverse lights in these mirrors? are insanely bright. I had no idea they were that bright, but it's very, very, very simple. It's very plug and play, and it's, it's so stupid easy to install. I was looking at my mirror, and I'm like, holy smokes, because I never was able to see really where I was backing up. I, I could kind of see the silhouette of a tire, but other than that, I couldn't see where I was backing up in the, if it was dark. And I go and put this thing in reverse, and it like lights up like a stadium behind me, and I'm like, I'm like, What's going on? Like I didn't know, I literally didn't know what happened. I was looking out in front of me thinking maybe like dad happened to be pulling in the driveway when I was looking back, he was turning in or something. I'm like, it's so bright back here. And uh, it was just the, it was just the reverse lights in the mirrors that were that bright. I mean, it was just nuts. Give you a little bit of a sneak peek on uh, some stuff we got for the, for the turkey. Look at that. Now this stuff is from Whirly Custom Fab. Look at the, I was telling Reagan yesterday I said, look at the powder coating on this stuff. Like, it does no justice on camera. Maybe it does a little bit, but it is, is like, it is like so, it is like so clean and clear and smooth. I mean, it is just so nice. It looks really good. So that's the color of the stuff going under the hood of this truck. And it's supposed to have matched the paint of the truck. Obviously, the truck's a little bit dirty right now but it's supposed to be like a paint match color to the entire truck. So all the stuff that's in the box, we're not gonna reveal it all, because some of it's pretty freaking cool stuff. And some of some of it, some more lighting accessories, that's not for really custom fab, but for the rest of the truck to kind of top it off. But I mean, it, I mean, it's just gonna look so good. So stay tuned for that. Those videos are coming very soon. If you guys have any need for Duramax, intake parts, coolant pipes, coolant tanks, traction bars, um, even some common stuff. They actually have some stuff for those trucks as well. Go to their website. I'll leave it down in the description below.
lighting. Here's the other function with the white strip lighting on the sides. This is just your like your daytime lighting. And uh, I gotta say guys, it looks really good. This truck has turned out really nicely. And I know some people may not be a fan of chrome, a lot of chrome on a truck, but on this truck, I mean, it really does look really nice. The black chrome and that uh, illusion cherry color as Whirly Custom Fab calls it. Um, it just looks really, really good. And here's a close up on the paint of the truck so you can see how it kind of, not kind of, it, it will match that Whirly Custom Fab stuff perfect. It's got like that sparkly, glittery look to it in the right lighting when the sunlight's on it, which is very cloudy out today, but it, it's gonna look really good, guys. We're not done yet. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Remember, we have seven days left, maybe six by the time you see this video, then the giveaway for this truck is over. You could be winning this 2008 LMM Duramax, taking it home, parking in your driveway, doing whatever it is that you want with it. Maybe you don't even want the Duramax, but you want a Cummins, or you want a Ford, or you you want a tractor. I, I don't know what you want, or you want a down payment for a house. Um, you can do whatever you want with the truck, okay? You can sell it, keep it, drive the mess out of it, do whatever you want. You can rebuild it a different way, sell parts off of it, and do it your own way. Whatever you want to do, it's up to you. It's your truck. But just don't forget that it ends in six or seven days. Go down into the description below, click the link, go to the website. Every $15 you spend is another entry to win, and you could be taking home this truck later next week. So thank you guys so much, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.